Hello, everybody. We're in the middle of a storm here on Prince Edward Island, or what they're calling for a storm. It's not snowing yet, but it's getting windy. Anyway, uh, I'm going to do a little video about a private reserve ink, avocado. Strangely enough, I picked this up as a gift for someone, a friend of mine, and it's an ink that I actually was thinking I'd get for myself. But uh, I'm going to give this away to a, a friend who's coming home for Christmas. I won't say who it is. And... Uh, well, I'm going to do a swatch anyway for my records, and I'm probably going to pick up a bottle of this myself because uh, I think I'm going to like it. So, Private Reserve. I think it's a recently relaunched company. I could be wrong about that. I'm often wrong about many things. Yes, I am. Uh, but it's an American company, and I have a few of their inks. Um, I have three of their inks. I have Tanzanite, I have Black Cherry, and I have Orange Crush. And I quite like the first two. And I like the third. Um, there is a couple. It's an orange ink. And with orange ink, sometimes you get little crustaceans, but it's no problem. I'll do a video on it eventually. So anyway, Private Reserve Avocado. I'm a huge fan of avocado toast. Yes, I am, even though I'm too old to be a hipster. Uh, I'm more of the slacker generation. Anyway, <clears throat> So what do I have? It comes in uh, a generous bottle, um, 60 milliliters, 2.03 ounces. And for $19 Canadian, you get a lot of ink and you get actually what I think of as actually a, a very good quality ink. Um, uh, the few times I've tried it, I've been pleased. Um, so I, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what this is. Anyway, as I said, it's been on my list of inks I'd like to get. One thing I noticed about uh, Private Reserve is they do fill the bottle, bottle almost to the brim. Not as bad as, say, Noodlers, who goes straight to the top. But uh, you do get a generous amount of ink in here. And opening that up, that is a beautiful green ink. Um, uh, looking at it, it's avocado. Almost. I, anyway, I think that's quite attractive. So I'm going to do a little swatch here, just for my records. And it's a beautiful dark green. I can see why they call that avocado. Um, <clears throat> I'm also going to put it in my little book that I keep, just uh, because I take this around to different meetings and stuff. Pen club meetings and stuff like that. So I'm going to do a swatch in there, just to have it. And I'm going to do something different today. I'm going to dip a piece of paper in here, just to see how it looks. Just going to give it a little dunk test and let it drip. And I don't know if you can see that. Just to see what the colors are as it drips. And make sure it's in the camera. And now I have to wait for it to dry. But yeah. Looking at that, I would think that's an ink that you could get some nice shading with. Um, there's almost a spearmint green to it, but there's black in this ink. It's um, very attractive. I can picture that in a uh, being a... Anyway, I'm not going <laughs> to ink up a pen with it. Uh, maybe someday. But as you see, it's a, a beautiful green with a bit of black to it. Very attractive. I like that a lot. I'm going to get myself a bottle of this. <laughs> So, private reserve. I'm going to use my glass dip pen and I'm going to scratch it on here. And yes, I'm hitting the camera all the time. Cover that up before the cat shows up and sticks her paw on it. As I said, I'm going to give this away to a, as a Christmas gift, but I thought I'd do a sample just to see. And as you see, as it dries, I'm seeing quite a nice bit of uh, black in that. So 
I'm thinking that would look great in a, you know, a Western fine or a, a medium nibbed pen. Um, and I'm trying to think if it reminds me of any other inks I have. I have um, a couple uh, diamine inks, uh, you know, Dark Forest and Sherwood Green, but in some ways this is quite different in my opinion. I, 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 I'm, li I'm liking it a lot, and I am going to get myself a bottle. Private Reserve of a Palo. <laughs> anyway, um, I hope you're having a good day wherever you are. I, as I said, this was just to be a little quick video, just for fun. Um, let me know what you think. Do you have private reserve avocado? Do you like the ink? Um, I like how <laughs> I made a mess in here somehow. Anyway, I'll put that back. It's going to make a nice gift. But private reserve, it's one of those inks. Um, the packaging is very simple. Uh, you know, there's one of their, they, one of the things they say is smooth ink flow, brilliant hues, a rainbow of color, premium quality, high saturation, excellent shading. And I think this would have excellent shading. Um, the um, packaging sometimes leaves a little bit to be desert, desired, but that's okay. I love the bottle. The bottle is very generous. I, what I, one of the things I, I like about the bottle is it's a wide mouth bottle. Also, it's a very stable bottle. Sometimes when you get a, a, a certain ink and they have a little opening and you're like, how am I going to get certain pens into that? Um, uh, it can be a problem. But the, I like this, the shape of this bottle and uh, uh, the bottle itself is quite attractive. The labeling on the, on the bottle is quite attractive. The box leaves a little bit to, desi uh, to be desired. Um, but the color actually is very, very close when you look at it on the label. So, yeah, that's, 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 quite, a, that's quite close. Anyway, do you uh, have any private reserve inks? Have you used them before? What's your favorite color? Let me know in the comments. We and would love to know. We, oh, pen <laughs> Random Pegkin 2. Pen, um, I just got photobombed? No. Uh, uh, it's video a cameo. Bomb. Cameo. A cameo we'll appearance. Call it a cameo. Anyway, so I hope you have a great day. And if you give. Uh, if you're new around here, give a subs subscribe to the channel and give us a thumbs up if you like the video. Yeah. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.